You are watching a meme, world news channel. A spokesperson for the Palestine Red Crescent says Gaza has been left alone to deal with an unprecedented humanitarian crisis as 16 hospitals out of 35 hospitals are out of service and more are running out of fuel. The international community must allow the entry of non-stop humanitarian aid in Gaza including fuel, Nebel Farsak told Al Jazeera. The PRC, which runs Al-Quds hospitals, said the facility is operating despite a grave shortage of medicines and fuel. No aid has been allowed to enter the northern part of the Strip, while only a limited amount has reached the south. So far, Israel has opposed the entry of any fuel in Gaza, which is needed to power hospital generators as well as ambulances and aid trucks. Fuel means life now Farsak said. We are hours from a complete shutdown of all hospitals. Stay tuned with our main world news channel. Now you watch spokesperson Palestine Red Crescent say. Have already went out of service due to uh, either bombardment or running out of fuel and medical supplies. Now the rest of the hospitals are witnessing a collapse. They are literally collapsing, witnessing a severe shortage of medical supplies and medicine as well as running out of fuel. The situation uh, even in Gaza and another uh, northern is worsening day by day because of the Israel prevention of the arrival of aid to the north and Gaza. It has completely separate uh, the Gaza and the north from the south. And now the aid is only getting into the south, but not of the aid is getting into the north. The Palestine Red Crescent, as a humanitarian organization, we are uh, unable, we along with other humanitarian agencies who are working in Gaza Strip, up to this moment are unable to allow the entry of aid in Gaza and the other. Although hospitals are extremely collapsing, now they are uh, working in full capacity, trying to save as much people as they can, Although people are uh, now getting treated at the ground in, in hospitals corridor because uh, uh, already they are overwhelmed, a high number of casualties since Israel intensify its airstrikes in Gaza and the north. This comes with this extreme shortage of medical supplies and medicine and running out of fuel. What I want to say, an example, Al-Quds Hospital is run by the Palestine Red Crescent. We are only 36 hours far and we will be completely running out of fuel for Al-Quds Hospital. That means our hospital will stop operating, and that means our patients who are correctly injured, connected to life support machines and oxygen, as long as also babies and incubators will lose their life in hours due to a complete cut of power, since up to this moment, not even a one liter of fuel has been allowed to get into Gaza because Israel refused to allow the entry of fuel to Gaza, although it is urgently needed. Fuel means life now. We are hours from a complete shutdown of all hospitals in Gaza, a complete also stop of all ambulances uh, in Gaza. Ambulances need fuel in order to continue to operate. Even truck aid will also stop because basically uh, trucks need fuel and then we will be unable Nibal, to receive the human Nibal, aid or distribute it as well. As you say, fuel has been a huge, huge problem. We've been hearing that everyone has been on the cusp of, of closing down at various times. We've been wondering, how is anyone at the moment still operating? There were hospitals that were saying that they were going to run out, but some of them have managed to continue functioning in, in some capacity. Are we just seeing rationing take place here, or are there, is there fuel being found somewhere else? I'll tell you what, our example, as the Palestine Red Crescent, mm -hmm. we run Al-Quds Hospital. We have been preserving energy in uh, un unprecedented ways. I don't think none of the hospitals in the world will do that. Could you imagine that we turn off the elevators all day that long and then just turn it on when there's emergency cases getting into the mm. hospital? When, uh, we, when we operate the generators for oxygen, to have oxygen for our patients who are connected to, to oxygen machines, we have to turn off the AC from the intensive care unit 
to preserve and uh, to preserve energy as much as we can. We are literally trying our our best to continue providing our life-saving services in Gaza. We are the lead emergency medical service in Gaza. Mm -hmm. We uh, work. Our ambulances is in ground trying to save uh, people's lives. However, uh, already three ambulances stopped because running out of gasoline. I just got a call from my colleague. He told me that five ambulances in the northern are on the way to complete stop because they already run out of gasoline. The situation is just catastrophic. We have been trying our best to continue providing our humanitarian services, our life-saving services in Gaza. However, we have been left mm -hmm. alone. Up to this moment, the international community have failed to support the human Otto is Gaza. back again have with another to top 10. This lossy 3D element. To continue providing our life-saving services. Nepal. Up to this moment, the international community can't even allow the entry of non-stop humanitarian in Gaza, including a few. Nabal, I know that the conditions are, are truly terrible there on the ground. You talked about having to turn off oxygen, turn off ventilators, to, to turn off the machines that are keeping people, including newborn children, alive. Have we seen, seen these things take place at, at other hospitals that have had to shut down? Absolutely. And now all hospitals are just working from their humanitarian mission. They are trying to continue working to the last second in order to support the civilians in Gaza who are then under intense bombardments that is taking place for over a month with this large number of casualties and people who have been killed. Most of them are children and women. So continue operating. That doesn't mean that the case as well. The situation in all hospitals is already catastrophic and we are on our way for a complete shutdown for all hospitals. That means over 2 million civilians in Gaza, they are not only with no food, water, uh, medicine, uh, power, and even fuel, they soon will be without even medical care services, without even emergency medical services. That means Palestinians will have to die under the rubble because there will be no ambulances that could transfer them to the hospitals that at, at that time hospitals will be completely shut down. That means we urge the international community, we urge all world leaders to intervene immediately, to intervene immediately to ensure first the protection of civilians and healthcare personnel and hospitals who should be protected under international humanitarian law yes. to ensure the allow of entry of a humanitarian aid unconditional, non-stop, safe humanitarian aid into Gaza, including fuel, to save thousands of other Palestinians who might lose their life due to this complete blockade. Nabal Farsak there, a spokeswoman for the Palestine Red Crescent Society, describing some of the conditions that their very brave medical staff are working in in Gaza. Thank you so much for joining us, Nabal, and we really wish you and your teams all the best. Thank you. You are watching Amin World News Channel. Stay connected with us with the latest news of what is happening in the world. With Amin World News.